Hi everyone, Janet Taylor here. What I want to do today is go over this program called Click Earner, and I believe that um, if you haven't used it, that you will want to use it. It's a great program. Um, if you've never used SafeList, um, you, what a SafeList is, you have to go, you get emails in there from different um, uh, SafeList company uh, programs, and you um, to go in and click credits so that you can uh, send your ad, your email to those um, those people that are in those credits, and it can be very time consuming. Uh, Sometimes you get maybe 100, 200 credits at a time, maybe just 10 or, or 20. So it depends on the safe list. But once you um, start doing that, you'll realize it's, um, especially those of us who have already done a lot of safe list clicking, it's very time consuming, uh, very boring, very tedious. And I believe Click Earner takes those uh, problems away. You can still see the, um, as, as uh, you can set your timer so you can see the ads. Uh, it's up to each person how, what they, how they want to set it. So we'll go over that in a minute. Um, let's go over some of the uh, the uh, tabs here. Welcome, self-explanatory news, where you sign up. We'll go over the support here in a few minutes. Referrals, terms of service, at my account. This is the main section where you want to be because that's, these are the tabs you're going to, once you have everything set up, you'll be using these tabs. Um, with uh, Click Runner Forward, um, is one that it, uh, will show you how to set up your Click Runner Forward right here and uh, then we have click runner fetch which says it is a uh, you don't have to forward to so we'll go over that in just a minute payments how you uh, pay to use a uh, click runner you can do a trial uh, I think it's about seven days uh, you also do a one-time uh, payment from your um, ba available balance uh, pay now um, also you can do a subscription I really like that or you can do month to month pay but I like the subscription, that's what I do, pay, you can use PESA, Solid Trust Pay, and notice it's only $6 a month, Bitcoin, PayPal, and if you don't use any of these processors, processors you can contact support to discuss other payment options. Also, you, uh, as an affiliate, you can make 20% uh, off people that join under you, so that's good too, and you get that paid for very quickly. This is where you'll see your details, this is where you'll see referrals. And you will see a referral link right here that you can advertise with. And this is for earnings and, of course, log out. Okay? So before we start, one thing I want to go over is if you're going to use Fetch Earner, you'll need to go into your email account, or Gmail account, and um, set up your folders for your safe list. So let's just click on um, this particular, uh, let's say, explosive safe list. It's a solo ad. Uh, these will give you more credits. So those are good. So um, I'm going to look over here and see if I've already set up a folder for explosive safe list. I have, but if you have a safe list, you haven't set a folder up for you. You need to click on it. You need to go up here, and um, I've already got mine. But you would write your safe list in there. Then you would create new. A pop up would come up, and you'd write create new again. And it's as simple as that for uh, setting up your label. And then you need to click on the drop down arrow go over here and click on filter messages like this. And you'll see where it's from there, your safe list. Create filter with this search. Then you need to choose the label. And right now we're doing explosive, so I'll just click that. Apply the label. Never send it to spam and create filter. Those things, those steps um, are just very important if you do this if you want to use quick burner fetch. Okay? Now let's go back to, let me set up the uh, set this box. Okay. Let's go back to Click Earner and let's talk about how things we need to set up here. Um, we need to set up your Gmail and when you set Gmail up, notice that for, let's go back to Main where I can see your Click Earner Fetch and Click Earner Forward. Um, once you set your Gmail up, you have to set the Gmail up, um, or we've already set your fol folders up now, you'll have to do that for any Gmail account that you have an account with. Uh, if you have a list account, you have to do it with that. If you have a contact account, but you need to have those two for your safe list. You'll need to set those folders up for both of them. Of course, the list email will give you the most credit. Some people will only use their list. I happen to use both. But once we set your email up in one account, you have to do the same thing for another one. So, just, so this, let's just say we're doing your list account now. This walks you right through it. It gives you the directions. It gives you the pictures. You log into Gmail. Click on your gear on settings. Like that, right there. Then you'll all go to where it's highlighted here, and you'll enable your IMAP, save, and you're done. You will do that for any Gmail account that you use. Okay? Now let's go back here to our support. 
and so we've set up our Gmail. Let's set up Firefox Windows. Now this, you set once you set up your Gmail for both li both lists. That's set up for um, your click burner fetch and click burner forward. We just set this up once. Okay, we don't have to do it for each Gmail, just for Windows. Set up instructions. Start Firefox. Open your options. There's the picture that tells you right there how to do it. On the tabs, make sure this is real important right here to make sure that this is not checked because if it, it um, it just it can mess up your um, click burner. Make sure you come back and check that if your safe list is not put if your click burner or click burner forward is not pulling up your safe list. Come back and make sure you've got that thing unclicked. Okay. Okay. Then uh, okay. Now go into content. Make sure you've got that clicked. And click on exceptions, and then you're going to need a uh, allow here. Write in your clickburner.net and allow it. And this is where you should see it here allowed. Okay. Then click close and then go onto your address bar and enter about config with the colon right there. And you'll see it right there. See the descri description. It's so easy to follow the directions. Click I'll be careful, I promise. Then you go to the search bar right here and type this in. Then double click on the 20, just like it says. And when the pop-up comes up, change it to 100. Click OK. You're done. Now, you're not going to be able to go this fast. I'm just going fast because I want you to give an overall view what you're going to be doing. So, um, you can, you'll can you need to set up Macintosh if you have that. Um, now, set up forwarding. You can do it here or you can go to your click runner and um, set it up. So, let, let me skip that for right now. Let me just go to your multiple tab handler. And that, once again, is going to give you a link to go to and explain where you... I'll click on the green, allow it, and then install it, and restart now. And, okay, that's really all I'm going to show you there. Okay, let's go back to your support. Now you can do Firefox, Windows, I mean, you, excuse me, you can do your setup forwarding here, or we can go to click on the forward and setting it up. It doesn't really matter. Let's, uh, let's just do it right here. Okay, well, let me do, but remember, if you're looking for your, uh, if you're looking for your, forwarding addresses that you need from ClickRunner, you'll click here, and then down below this box section right here, you'll find your ClickRunner emails. You shall I think you'll find one for your list account, one for your contact. So that's where you'll find them if you need to look for them, like right under ClickRunner Forward. Okay, let's go over to Setup Forwarding, and you'll need to do this for any account you want. If you want to do your contact and list account, you always have to do that. Do this for each account. So you go to your gears and your settings again. And then go to your forwarding, and then go back to that click burner forward. Get that email account for um, whichever account you're using it, um, whether it's your list or your contact. Put it in there, and then proceed. Okay, and this is just an example um, where you add your forwarding address, and it might look something like that. Now, after you've added it, they're going to send a confirmation code, but it's not going. You're going to go to your click earner forward to find it. So what you'll do, you go to where it says click earner forward under your main account. And you'll go in here, and you should see a Gmail um, coming in. Now, if you've um, waited and you've uh, wanted, you set up both like two accounts, you should have a two there to confirm both. If you don't see anything in there, wait a couple of minutes. If you still don't see it, then um, kind of refresh your browser, and it should come up. Then you'll need to click the open URL. You'll see. If you've done one, you'll just have one. If you've done two, you'll see two. But you've got to confirm them, and that will confirm them. Now, after you've done your confirmation, you need to go back to your Gmail account, go into your forwarding, and make sure you click that radio button right there to forward everything, okay? And then you're done. So make sure you do that for any account that you're forwarding to. Real simple. Okay. Now, um, let's go back to main account. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you go into your fetch. You're going to fetch. You'll always have the pop-up. You'll have to put in your e if you're doing your list email, put that address in and password. If you're doing your contact, same thing to get in there. And it, in order order to switch from one to the other, you're going to have to uh, log out. Okay. So once you're through with your list email and you want to do your contact, you have to log out and then come back in and do it again with your contact. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to click runner four because it, it really looks the same except for a couple of things and you don't have a pop-up window here which is wonderful it goes right into your um, account I like that now these are and click or fetch they're being fetched from your account these are being forwarded from your account um, and click click or fetch you don't have the little exclamation marks and those tell you right there the safest uses captures or pictures so if you don't want to do those 
you know those are the ones that have it or you don't feel like doing it one day you'll just you'll know but these your safe list that will start populating take a little while because they got it once you have to wait till they come in and then they'll be forwarded to you and I can you see mine are starting to come in again I've used a lot of them but on both clicker and fetch and this you'll see it says all emails auto open leave it the same now you some people do up to 50 emails it depends on your browser um, your internet connection if, if you don't you don't want to cause a problem with your browser browser I don't do more than 20 some people I know do 50 but I mean look how many you could do you must have a killer computer to do that <laughs> so um, I'm going to set mine today at 10 okay and I'm going to set the delay at two seconds uh, maybe I'll do it 10 seconds you'll be able to see some of the actually I'm going to yeah, yeah I'll do that <laughs> and then wait don't wait after first I'll put that at 10 seconds too Normally I set mine at 15. Some people set, a lot of people just set theirs at one second. They just, they go on quick, they go boom, 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 they go on. And then, in just a minute, once I click my um, safe list, I'm going to click fetch, fetch the next 10. Now you may hear some videos coming on. I may have to be quiet or if I can't find the way to turn them off. So for just a minute, let's pick, I'm going to pick a couple of, a, a, one safe list to, pop, to populate. And you're going to start seeing it right up here. The, uh, the credits, come, the emails coming out. Um, coming so let me try let's see I'm going to do European safe list I'm just going to do 10 sometimes it will take more than 10 or, or a little bit less it just depends but um, got it set on 10 anyway and so I'm going to go over here I'm going to click the European safe list right there and I'm going to move this over where you can see it <laughs> and I'm going to fetch 10 oh I'm sorry you went in I'm going to do it before I can do it okay so you're going to start seeing let me move this up where you can see it you wait 30 seconds and then you'll get the credits will show up. You may not see them if it clicks to the next um, email. So we'll just um, see how it does. See how quickly it's starting to do it. Once in a while you'll have a little pop up. You don't, um, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, Hello, this is Kevin. It's Wednesday. Few people trying to talk because they got a video. We'll click them off, off of if we can. But once again, I've set mine at a little bit of delay so you can see the um, you can see the um, emails kind of the marketing coming up. Now, when I get through, if I want to, I can click each one of them off individually if I want to. If I want to look at them. If not, I'll show you how I normally do it unless I have time. Then I will click them off because I'm already looking at them now. So I probably don't need to click them off individually. So once these start populating and, and crediting, um, for example, this one has, let's see, I got 50 credits, 50 credits, okay, great. Stop, uh, we'll go on over. I'll show you how I usually do. You want to click them off all at once, and we can do that. Let's see if they're done. I'm going to click the arrow all the way to the left, except for you're going to stop right here. Click earner. I think that one's still cutting to credit. Uh, if it doesn't, it's okay. And what I'm going to do is because I'm going to click them all off, I'm going to right click those tabs to the right and watch what happens when I do that. It says I'm going to close 11 tabs. Are you sure you want? Yeah, want to? There we go. Once in a while you get a pop up after that, but um, generally um, it, it, just, it closes very quickly. If you have, if you open more URLs, uh, emails, then it might. But you see how quick that how quickly that happened. And that's really as simple as it is. That's all there is to it. And you'll go back and maybe fetch another ten. You can do it until you until all your um, credits are gone. And notice it, uh, this tells you um, how many safe lists. Captures, non captures safe list, unknown safe list. So, um, I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any problem opening your getting your safe list, check your malware. Make sure you've got good malware and, and good um, virus protection. So, I hope this helped you and I hope you'll get a chance to use this because I think it's amazing. I really do.